What's good sports gamers and welcome back to our top 10 sleeper series where we're starting to wind it down and today I'm going to go over our top 10 sleeper coverage linebackers you should grab in your franchise. So right, let's get it. Coming in at number 10 is Jermaine Carter Jr. First one to mention, he should be easy to obtain due to the Panthers having no shortage of good linebackers on the team. Carter has decent speed with an 83 rating but will definitely need to be used it at the start because his play wreck is garbage altogether. Although his zone coverage is okay. He's short, but he makes up for it somewhat with his 89 jump. But you're gonna have to hold your breath that he can hang on to any passes as his catch rating is only a 50. But running around and laying dudes out with his 87 hit power will certainly be fun as well. Coming in at number 9 is Joel E.A. Booneyway. In a way, you can say he's the odd man out in the ridiculous Bears linebacking core, so it definitely won't take too much to get him. He might even be in free agencies or their practice squad if you give it a minute. He has good speed to start with for you as well as tackle rating of 81. What really drew my eye to him was he also can handle block sheds and has nice hit power for you. His own coverage isn't terrible, so he'll definitely be able to hold his own being used control soon. At number 8 is Dorian O'Daniel. Another rookie to look to grab that slow is O'Daniel. He's purely a cover guy to start as he will get destroyed in the run game with his low block shed. As a cover guy, he has nice starting play rec rating as well as zone coverage. So you can use or let him do his own thing to start for you. At 7 is Dylan Cole. The one year pro Cole, besides being a potentially great cover guy, he can become an awesome run defender as well with his 82 hit power and 84 strength. The 79 zone coverage rating and 71 play rec will have him ready to ball for you at the start though. The 75 overall definitely gives you more than you can expect because of the things he's good at already. The number 6 sleeper on the list is Donald Payne. If Payne was taller he would certainly rise up the list but despite being on the short side he can still do damage. He has 89 jump and he's fast and can lay the hit stick and we all know in Madden that counts for something as he's a prime user candidate. He goes well with the Jags young core of linebackers, or because the Jags are loaded there, he could be half of the love. At 5 is Kaiser White. White is built like a tall corner, which is nice, but he also has excellent hit power and can run around with his 91 acceleration and use it. He's a decent zone coverage guy to start if you want to leave him alone as well. If he was a little faster, he would be a nice sleeper corner to play with even. At 4 is Alex Anzalone. Anzalone is a good well-rounded young linebacker to grab for you. He's an above average cover guy to start and combined with good speed and height makes for a solid choice for your squad. Coming in 3 on the list is Oren Burks. In my league earlier this year when I was the Packers I started Burks immediately and he turned into a baby beast of sorts. He has great height, the speed and hip power there. And if I wasn't the Packers, I would have tried to grab him ASAP for my team. He's definitely a great low rated guy who will ball for you. I love using this guy. At two is Fred Warner. Now only one other beast beats Warner for the best sleeper linebacker in Mad 19. But Warner makes a good case for himself to be number one. To start, he's 21 years old, 6'3", and has quick potential. And he's amazingly balanced in numerous categories, especially as his own defender with his 77 rating. So you don't have to use him to start if you don't feel like it. His age and solid ratings everywhere gives him a crazy high potential for you by the time he hits his prime. And he's surely a linebacker you need to grab if you're expecting your lead to go a few years. But getting him from a Niners on a regular team leads will certainly be tough. And Sports Gamers Online number one sleeper coverage linebacker to grab in Mad 19 is Lorenzo Carter. It's funny, Carter is supposedly marked down as a pass rusher, but he has the highest potential of any low rated guy as a cover guy in my opinion, which makes his trade value interesting. The guy is 6'5", quick potential, and is so fun to use as a cover linebacker. Check it, he has 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 jump. His catching is what you would expect out of a non-cover guy though. But Carter just covers so much ground, it's worth the risk. I had 8 interceptions with him in one season. I got a little desperate and offered the Giants guy Jair Alexander for him, but after two seasons, I didn't regret it at all. Not many 6'5 guys with his speed walking around, so it makes sense why Lorenzo Carter sits the top sports gamers online, top 10 sleeper coverage linebackers in Madden 19. Sorry sports gamers, do you agree with the list? And if not, what's the low rated covered linebacker that you have been balling with that you think deserved a shout out? 
let us know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more Mad 19 content. So subscribe if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.